بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we will describe the data show of the stomach The fundus of the stomach is characterized by having these uh, folds which are longitudinal and they are branched These longitudinal folds which is parallel to the long axis of the uh, stomach is allowing the stomach to be distended when it is full it is formed of the same four layers for the digestive tube. It is formed of mucosa, starting from the surface till the muscularis mucosa, then the submucosa, connective tissue, and of course it extends into the folds, and then the musculosa, and then the serosa. But here the musculosa is characterized by an additional inner oblique layer in front or a more uh, interior to the uh, middle circular and outer longitudinal muscle layer. Here we will describe the gastric glands. These gastric glands or fund glands are characterized by, by being um, simple because it has one duct, branched tubular as the secretory part is branched and it is in the form of a tube. Uh, these glands here, as you see, are opening in this duct which is called the gastric pit. The lining of the gastric pit is the same as the lining of the uh, the lining epithelium of the stomach as it continues downwards to line the gastric pit. This lining is called surface epithelial mucus cell. Tall cells with basal oval nuclei, and they are not drawn here exactly basal oval but this is a description here you can see them in the picture they are tall columnar with basal oval nuclei and having an uh, apex full of uh, vacuolated material which represent the mucus accumulating in these cells and this mucus will um, uh, line the mucosa to form as a protective layer against the gastric HCA so this is the surface epithelial cells which are present also as a lining for the gastric pit. Then the gland itself is formed of isthmus, the first narrow part, then the neck wide part, then the base which is the branched part. Here we have this is the gland and this is the pit. So this is the pit. Can How can you know the pit? By the presence of these tall cells with basal oval nuclei and the apex is vacuolated or empty due to dissolving of the mucus which is forming a large uh, space here in these uh, cells. Then when we go to the gland itself you will see another mucus cells in the neck. These cells also continue in the isthmus but in the neck we have other cells which are shorter than these cells and they are also full of mucus and they are called mucus neck cells. But their nuclei are more flattened and they are shorter in length and the nuclei are more flattened at the base. And then in the uh, deep part or the basal part of the gland, we will see other cells. So in this picture, we are concentrating how to diagnose the pit, which is having a lumen, very narrow line, and more important, it is uh, lined by these tall cells with the major part of the cell is uh, pale, vacuolated or dissolved mucus, and we have basal oval nuclei. After that, um, we cannot see these uh, pale cells in, uh, in the gland except for a small area in the isthmus. Another picture here showing the mucosa. This is the surface and here this is the gland and here we have the muscularis mucosa here this part which is pale formed of tall columnar basal oval nuclei and they are pale cells due to dissolving of mucus this is the gastric pit and it extends for a small area in the isthmus and then we have uh, the neck and the base here in the uh, gland especially in the base you can see we have basophilic cells and you can see here in the upper part of the gland 
mainly we have these acidophilic cells which are triangular with central rounded they are the oxanthic cells or the uh, parietal cell but the basophilic cells which are pyramidal basophilic with basal rounded nuclei are the peptic or chief cells of course you can see that the connective tissue corium is much reduced here because the glands are so crowded in the fundus of the stump then these are two pictures starting with this one this is the fundus of the stomach because we have here this is the pit which is showing this uh, narrow lumen here uh, the fine uh, we can find here these surface epithelial cells which are pale and then this is the gland here the ratio between the pit starting from here to there to the gland is um, one to four here this is part this is one and this is another one two three four so here the ratio between the pit and the gland itself is one to four this means that the ratio between the duct and the gland itself is one to four the ratio between this distance and this distance is one to four here you can see the lumen and here you can see the cells which have uh, evacuated cytoplasm basal oval nucleus and they are tall cells so these are the surface epithelial cells and the lumen is called the gastric pit when we have the arrow to the lumen it is the gastric pit when you have the arrow on the cell it is the surface mucus cells the other picture is showing the uh, deep or basal part of the gland because I can see both uh, acidophilic cells which are triangular here this one is very typical with a central rounded nucleus these are the parietal cells as you see these parietal cells are responsible for the secretion of the HCL in the intracircular nuclei and the intrinsic factor they are acidophilic and not basophilic although they have HCL because the HCL is formed inside the intracircular nuclei and immediately is poured into the lumen of the gland so it is not free in the cytoplasm here uh, the intracellular nuclei will um, pump the hydrogen and the chloride to unit tonight to unite in the intracellular nuclei and then pass to the lumen uh, here you can see also these uh, here we have these basophilic cells these basophilic cells all these all these basophilic cells they are number two they are the peptic cells which are basophilic they are pyramidal basophilic with the basal rounded nuclei they are responsible for the secretion of the enzymes pepsin renin and some lipase here the fundus also and here we have the pit of the fundic gastric gland you can see it is lined by the typical surface mucus cells columnar tall with a basal oval nucleus and it is uh, characterized by having a large amount of mucus in its cytoplasm which dissolves during preparation of the section giving this uh, vacuolated appearance so it, the cells are lining the stomach and lining the gastric pit after that we will have the gland by staining with the PS which stains the mucopolysaccharides they can stain here the epical part which is formed of a huge amount of mucus so by the PS they have this um, uh, magenta red color as you have taken in the cytology of the first year the PS stains the uh, glycogen or the uh, glycoproteins by this um, magenta red color and the mucus of course is a glycoprotein here the basal oval nucleus so this is the whole cell it's a very tall cell with a basal oval nucleus and full at its apex with this huge amount of uh, the glycogen not only the apex almost all of the cell is full of this uh, mucus full of this mucus which is glycoprotein in nature 
here we have the uh, parietal cell which is uh, triangular with central rounded nucleus acidophilic and they are found mainly in the upper half of the gland but they are also present at the base as you can see here we have the chief cell in the base together with the parietal cell but the parietal cells are more in the upper half of the gland here we have the acidophilic cells these are the parietal and here we have the basophilic cells which are pyramidal with basal rounded nucleus so the nuclei in both are rounded but this is central and this is basal remember that the chief cell are mainly in the base so the nucleus also is basal in position <clears throat> here also we have the deep part of the gland because i can see the peptic cells or the chief cells they are pyramidal with the basal rounded nuclei here evident basal rounded nuclei and the ahem haga they are the most important they are basophilic in staining of course because they contain a huge amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum to produce the enzymes which are protein in nature among them we can see some of the parietal cells which are triangular and they having central rounded so they have central rounded and they have these have basal rounded remember the peptic cells are found in the base of the gland and their nuclei are basal rounded nuclei here we will move to the second section which is the pylorus of the stomach and how can you differentiate in this picture between the pylorus and the fundus you can see here this is the pits the pits here are occupying almost half of the mucosa or in another word the ratio between the pit and the gland is almost one to one here the pits are characterized by the presence of surface uh, epithelial mucus cells which are vacuolated to the presence of the mucus can be easily recognized and these are the gland itself here also we have to know what is the type of the gland in the uh, pylorus here in the pylorus it is simple tubular coiled gland simple because it has one duct coiled tubular it is a tube but what this tube is a highly coiled so when we cut a section we can see different sections in the uh, body of the gland because it is uh, highly coiled and of course they are resting on the muscularis mucosa and any connective tissue between the glands here they are the connective tissue of the lamina propria in the gland itself you cannot uh, uh, see the uh, parietal acidophilic cells at all here we can see the ratio between the pit and the uh, gland it is one to one almost one to one and they are resting on muscularis mucosa so this is the section in the pylorus and of course this is the submucosa now we will take a full picture for the pylorus this is the mucosa and these are the pits these are the glands muscularis mucosa submucosa and this is the musculosa in the musculosa we have a thick inner circular layer because they form the pyloric sphincter and also we will have the ordinary outer longitudinal so you have inner circular and outer longitudinal and we don't have the inner oblique at all the inner circular here is much thickened due uh, to the fact that they form the pyloric sphincter now we will start the quiz here uh, the first one determine whether the following sections are fundus or pylorus uh, number 1a here we will look to the ratio between the pit and the gland and at the same time you can look at the gland at the base you can see basophilic cells very evident so the ratio here is one and one then one also uh, the same size two three so it is one to three or one to four so it is the fundus of course and here we have the pit and this is the gland so this is the section in the fundus 
the second section also these are the pits the ratio of the pit to the gland is one two three four and this is the muscular mucosa so this is the fundus also although we cannot diagnose very clearly the peptic cells but the ratio is very important so 1b is the fundus 1c these are the pits here and these are the glands this is the muscular mucosa here the ratio is here 1 to 1 here there are the pits and these are the glands here the glands you cannot see the parietal cells acidophilic cells most of most of the cells are devacuated or mucus secreting cells you cannot see the parietal cells at all this section is 1d this is the fundus this is the ratio between the pit and the gland it is 1 1 2 3 4 it is 1 to 4 here this ratio means that it is the fundus here at 1e this will have the pits also also evident the pits here are very very short very evident short and these are the glands so this is definitely the fundus 1e is the fundus 1f also these are the pits and these are the glands and in the glands you can see the parietal cells are very evident in the upper half mainly and in the lower half you can see the uh, peptic cells which are basophilic uh, we cannot see mucus cells in the basal part so this is of course the fundus mainly because of the ratio between the pit and the gland uh, one g here this is the pit and this is the gland the gland is made of mucus cells mainly and the pit to gland is one to one this is of course the muscular mucosa so 1g is the pylorus a slide number two the arrow points to here i am pointing to the lumen so this is the gastric pit it is characterized by being what being short sayara and narrow <laughs> very narrow lumen here number c the organ is the fundus of the stomach number three here a and b are sections in the fundus of the stomach both are in the fundus of course because the ratio of the pit to the gland one here one two three four um, identify the layer indicated by the arrow in a and b of course this is the musculosa and in B, this is the muscularis mucosa, of course. And of course, this is the sub mucosa. Uh, number four, or the last slide in this quiz, this section in the lower part of the fundal gland is a base. Identify the cells marked A and B. These A here are acidophilic, so these are the parietal cells. Uh, and these cells are responsible for secretion of SCL and intrinsic fat. B, these are the basophilic pyramidal with basal rounded nuclear bones are rounded, but this is central and this is basal. This is the peptic cells or the chief cells secreting uh, the pepsin, like uh, and renin and lipins. Thank you very much.